Limits in mathematics are fundamental concepts that help us understand the behavior of functions as they approach specific values. Essentially, a limit examines what happens to a function's output as the input gets closer to a particular point, rather than just focusing on the output itself. This approach is crucial because it allows us to analyze functions that may not be defined at certain points or to understand their behavior near those points. To illustrate this, consider the analogy of craving a pizza. As you get closer to the pizza place, your anticipation builds, reflecting how limits work. Just as you can sense the deliciousness of the pizza even before you arrive, limits help us grasp the behavior of functions as they near a value, providing deeper insights into continuity, derivatives, and integrals, which are essential in calculus and beyond. Imagine you're approaching the fridge when you're hungry. As you get closer, your excitement builds, but you haven't yet opened the door. This scenario illustrates the concept of limits in mathematics. Just like your anticipation increases as you near the fridge, limits describe how a function behaves as it approaches a specific input value, rather than focusing solely on the actual output at that point. For instance, if you're looking at a function that becomes undefined at a certain point, the limit helps us understand what the function is doing as it gets closer to that point. In this way, limits provide insight into the behavior of mathematical functions, allowing us to analyze their trends and tendencies, much like your growing hunger as you near the fridge, highlighting the importance of understanding the journey rather than just the destination. To find the limit of a specific function, let's consider f x x x2 for 4 divided by xx2 as x approaches 2. First, we substitute values close to 2, such as 1.9 and 2.1. For f of 1.9, we calculate 1.9 squared minus 4 divided by 1.9 minus 2 equals negative 0.39 divided by negative 0.1, which equals 3.9. For f of 2.1, we find 2.1 squared minus 4 divided by 2.1 minus 2 equals 0 0.4, 1 divided by 0 0.1, which equals 4.1. As we approach 2 from both sides, the values converge around 4. This illustrates the significance of limits, as they reveal the behavior of the function near a point, even though f of 2 is undefined due to division by 0. Thus, limits provide crucial insights into function behavior, distinguishing between the actual outputs and the values the function approaches as inputs near a specific point. Let's explore another function, g of x equals x squared minus 4, divided by x minus 2, to further illustrate limits. As we analyze this function near x equals 2, we can again use input values like 1.9 and 2.1, for g of 1.9, we find 1.9 squared minus 4 divided by 1.9 minus 2 equals negative 0.39 divided by negative 0.1 equals 3.9. And for g of 2.1, we calculate 2.1 squared minus 4 divided by 2.1 minus 2 equals 0.4, 1 divided by 0.1 equals 4.1. As we approach 2, the values converge around 4, highlighting the function's behavior. However, g of 2 is undefined due to a hole in the graph, illustrating that some functions can have points where they do not exist. This reinforces the concept that limits focus on approaching values rather than actual outputs, allowing us to understand the function's behavior even when it is not defined at a specific point. In summary, understanding limits is crucial in mathematics as they provide insight into the behavior of functions as they approach specific values. Limits allow us to analyze situations where functions may be undefined or exhibit unusual behavior, helping us grasp the underlying trends. A key distinction to remember is that limits focus on approaching values rather than the actual outputs of a function at those points. This concept is essential for deeper mathematical topics like calculus, where limits form the foundation for derivatives and integrals. By encouraging viewers to think critically about function behavior, we can appreciate how limits reveal the nuances of mathematical relationships.
As we explore various functions, recognizing the significance of limits will enhance our understanding and ability to tackle complex problems, ultimately enriching our mathematical journey. As we wrap up this video, let's recap the key points about limits and their significance in mathematics. We've explored how limits help us understand the behavior of functions as they approach specific values, emphasizing the distinction between approaching values and actual outputs. This foundational concept is vital for delving into more advanced topics like calculus. If you found this discussion insightful, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share it with others who might benefit from it. Your support helps us create more engaging content. Additionally, we invite you to explore related videos and resources on our channel or website, where you can deepen your understanding of limits and other mathematical concepts. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.